Hello everyone, my Coretto Roaster that's almost finished being driven via a PC. Um, this is actually the back of the unit where I've got a control box here with some wiring. Um, the green LED indicates that the USB port is connected to the computer. Um, the red switch here is the main switch which I'll turn on and the covers popped open because I haven't screwed it down. Um, but let's have a look inside. Uh, on the left hand side is a relay to drive the heating element inside the heat gun. Um, the next relay is for the stirrer that st stop, stops and starts the stirrer. And on the right is the Arduino controller with a TC4 board on the top. Um, and above that is a little circuit board um, that pretty much is wired into the fan circuit and that, and that provides a variable control of the fan speed. Um, the software um, is Artisan, it's open source. A um, little bit hard to sort of get up and running but once you get your head around it it's not too bad. Um, it's very customizable. You can um, you can program additional buttons, you can program sliders. I've got a slider for heat and I've got a slider for fan. I've also got a couple of custom button buttons uh, to turn the stirrer on, to turn the stirrer off. Um, then you can program some instructions, they call it alarms. Um, with alarms you can pretty much define any stage of the roast, you know, i.e. drying phase, first crack, second crack, you know, um, first crack end, whatever. Um, at any stage you can you can preset the fan to do something, the heater to do something, whatever you like. Um, what I'm planning to do is, say for the dry stage, um, set the fan and heat at a particular level um, until it gets to a certain temperature and then after that do something else. Um, when you press first crack you can have another instruction if the if the heat is whatever degrees you can get it to to alter your your power or your fan or whatever you want um, pretty much any stage of the roast is um, programmable you've also still got manual control with the sliders with the buttons it'll take me a little bit of time obviously to get a profile happening um, I haven't actually roasted anything yet but this is just a very basic set of instructions just to do a demo um, so basically oh, I can turn it on which will show some temperatures on the right hand side so top one is environment temperature which I've just got a floating um, thermocouple in there I don't know what I'm going to do with that yet maybe mount it somewhere the one below is the bin temperature um, and here are my um, my buttons that you can manually intervene with if you want that's stir it on stir it off um, on the left here are the, the sliders, one's for power, one's for fan. You can manually drive those if you want. So I'll just lift the fan one up to a certain level. Can... So you can manually control everything, um, but initially uh, I'll you know, try out some presets and work something out with the profile. Um, if I press start, I'll have some more buttons down the bottom, um, you know, first crack, second crack, all that sort of stuff. So we'll just do a quick demo. So when I press start, the buttons reveal, the stirrer turns on automatically, the fan goes to 60%, the heat goes to 60%. Um, the heat should be increasing now, slowly. If I was to press dry end, um, another set of instructions will kick in. So dry end, fan increases, heating element increases, obviously temperatures are still going up. Um, then I can do first crack start, which again another set of instructions, drops the fan down a little bit, 
props are heating out element down. Um, this is first crack end. Things change again. Um, second crack start. I've got no special rules there, so nothing, nothing changes. Uh, second crack end. Um, and then when I press drop, heating element turns off. Fan turns off. Stirrer will turn off. So that's pretty much it for a, a very basic set of instructions. Um, I'm hoping to get some decent roast out of this thing. Um, thanks for watching. Bye.